Hello everyone, I'm Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Before I begin, please show your support by hitting that thumbs up button down below. Thank you. When narcissists know you don't want them anymore. There was a time when you once wanted them. You were infatuated with them. You had an unreasonable feeling of love and attraction towards them. You just couldn't get enough of them. And you probably would have done anything for them. But now you're watching this video because you don't want them anymore. You're not wanting to deal with them. And it breaks their spirits. It causes them severe emotional damage. Because you were once crazy about them. But now you don't even bat an eyelid. You don't react to anything they say or do. And of course they can see the difference in your responses. They're heavily dependent on your emotional reactions as a source of supply. So yes, they're not stupid. They see that your demeanor has changed and they know that it's real. They can tell you're not feeling the same as you used to. They're not doing it for you in the way that they once did. And they don't like it. It makes them feel inadequate. Because they were once so dependent on your validation as a source of supply. But it's not there anymore and they feel it. They sense it. They can tell that your energy has shifted. But it's all on them. It's not on you. They were ungrateful. They took you for granted. Which is why they were disloyal to you and they behaved dishonestly. Because they thought anyone else would be willing to do the same as you were doing for them. They were ungrateful. Even if you gave them the world, they wouldn't be happy. It wouldn't be enough. Because they always need more. And if you don't give them the attention and validation they need to boost their ego, of course they're not going to be happy about it. Because they want that from you. But it's no good for you. You shouldn't even be giving your attention to them. Because it's not going to do anything for you. All it's going to do is deplete you. Because they have nothing to reciprocate back to you. So you're just going to be drained in the process of feeding them and building them up. Because it's at your expense. They're not contributing anything. They don't have anything. Which is why they want it from you. But you shouldn't even look at them. Just ignore them completely. Be unresponsive. Because then it will humble them. It will cause them to feel less important and proud. Which is probably how they should feel. Because they really haven't done anything that warrants this exaggerated view of themselves. They've achieved nothing. And yet they walk around like they're the best thing since sliced bread. And it's all a delusion. It's just in their heads. Because they haven't even done anything. All they do is prance around like they own the place. But they never take any action. They never actually do anything. And yet they demand and expect for people to validate this delusion so everyone else can be just as crazy as them. Which is why it's best to just leave them alone, ignore them, don't feed into them. Because you're just feeding a void, a black hole. There's nothing even there. Which is why you feel so drained any time that you give your attention to them. Because they have an excessive desire and appetite. They have a void that can never be filled. Which is why you shouldn't just be pretending that you don't want them. You shouldn't be playing a game. Even though they may be playing a game with you, you just need to cut them out of your life. Stop letting them benefit from your life. Because you're not even benefiting from theirs. So they don't deserve you. They don't deserve to be anywhere near you. They just want to know that you care about them, but they don't care about you. They're only concerned about themselves. Even though at times they make it seem like they care about you, but they really don't. 
they don't really see you. They live in a world inside their heads with a population of one and everyone else is just an object. We're all just things that they use to make themselves feel better or to make their lives easier. Which is why they hate it when you don't acknowledge their existence. Because they need a person's existence just so they can feel good. They can't feel good without it. They can't feel good on their own. They're heavily dependent on people's validation because they're not even real. They have no inner sense of value. They have no sense of self. They're just a black hole. There's nothing even there. And if you don't acknowledge the facade, then it collapses like a house of cards. Because it's nothing more than a fabrication. It exists only in the mind. It has no basis in reality. Which is why it requires external validation. And then it boosts them up. Because their false image is all that they have. And they care so much about what other people think of them. They read into things at a molecular level in an attempt to find even the tiniest morsel of validation because they need it that bad. But they're never satisfied. So they get into one relationship and things may feel good in the beginning, but they will get bored and then they'll be seeking a new source of supply. They will want someone else's attention. They will want someone else to acknowledge them. It's not going to last forever. They can't help themselves. They just always want to feel something. And as you may have already experienced, you made them feel something in the beginning. And that's what kept them around initially. But after some time, it just wasn't enough. Because you can't stop. You can't give less. And in fact, you can't even keep giving the same amount. You have to keep feeding them. But not only that, you have to increase the dose each time you feed them because otherwise they're just going to get bored. It's going to become usual and familiar. It's going to be their new normal and they're not going to appreciate it anymore. Because they're like drug addicts, they need a bigger and bigger dose each time. They need more and more. Which is why there's really no one in this world who can satisfy them. Because no matter what you do, it's never going to be enough. They're always going to want more because they're ungrateful. And they expect more from you than they expect from themselves. Or than they've ever received from anyone, including their own parents. So when you're around them, it's like you become their parent. Because they're underdeveloped. They're not fully grown adults. They're not independent. They're incapable of taking care of themselves and that's why they need you. But no matter what you do for them, it's never going to be enough and they're never going to be grateful for anything. You won't even get a thank you because they're not satisfied. They won't even see it as though you've done anything because it barely touched them. It barely even affected them. It's never enough for them because they have a void that can never be filled. So they're never satisfied, they're never happy, and it does not matter how much you do for them, it's never going to be enough. Which is why the best thing you can do is avoid them. Just leave them alone, forget about them. Because otherwise it's just going to degrade you. It's going to wear you down and make you look bad. It's going to ruin your life. Because they just can't survive on their own. And that is why they want it from you. Because they feel nothing for themselves. They could have a relationship, a marriage, a family, and they will still want more. While there are people in this world who have a lot less, and yet they are a lot happier, and they are more grateful, while having a lot less. But if you cut all ties with a narcissist, you will see how they begin to diminish, while you elevate and things just get better for you. This is why they hold on to you. And this is why it's not the other way around. Because they need you. You don't need them. You would have been far better off without them. But they gained a lot from you. Because they're the ones who need you, not the other way around. You never needed them. 
and in fact you would have done a lot more without them. They were a hindrance to your life and yet they're the ones who are ungrateful because they're empty black holes, there's nothing even there. All they can do is rob you of your life, energy and resources and that is the only way that it is ever going to end. There's never going to be an alternative outcome or result. It can only end by them robbing you because all they have is a void. They have no inner sense of value. There is nothing there. It's all in your imagination. It's a shared fantasy, a delusion. It has no basis in reality. And if it did, well, you probably wouldn't be watching this video right now. You wouldn't be doubting yourself and you wouldn't be doubting them because it would just be there. But it's not because it isn't real. They take from you because they need it from you. Because they can't generate it from within. They have nothing inside of themselves. They're black holes, empty vessels, empty meat suits, whatever you want to call them. There is nothing there. And anything they do or say to you is just manipulation. It's just an attempt for them to get something out of you, to rob you of something, because it's what they lack. It's what they're deficient in. And it's never going to be anything different than that. All they can do is manipulate, and the best you will ever get from them is an illusion. They will only come around you to take from you. They have nothing to give. Even when it looks like they're giving something to you, that's still manipulation. They're mirroring you. They have nothing original of their own. They're reflecting back to you your own qualities and virtues so that they can take something from you. Any interaction or engagement with them will end in you being, being robbed and you being depleted of things that you're never going to get back, things you're never going to see again because it just gets lost in a void. It gets sucked into their black hole, never to be seen again. And that is the only reason why they would even come around you. Not because they love or care about you, but because you can pour into their void, which temporarily fills them up. And it makes them feel something for a moment, but it doesn't last for long. And soon enough, they need something more, whether it's from you or someone else. And you can keep giving it to them, and then they may come back. But no matter what you give, it's never going to be enough. It's just going to destroy you in the end, and even then they're still not going to be satisfied. They're still going to need more, because it's a black hole. They have a void that can never be filled. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurviver. You can book a one on one with me on my website. It's narcsurviver.co.uk. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.